Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Just past the top of the hour and just finishing up from daybreak just a few minutes ago. If you'd like to see more of that, you can catch our repeat forecast. All you have to do is go to WREG.com and click on the Watch Anytime button, and you'll be able to see a little bit more about what we were talking about on the news for this morning. We'll have an update of the forecast for you coming up here in just a couple of minutes. If you've never been here before and have just been tuned Tuning in uh, for the first time. This is our online video weather blog giving you an updated bit of information. A lot more time we can share here in regards to what's going on with the weather, uh, more than just the two to three minutes or so that we get during a typical weather cast on air. So if you have questions about the forecast, this is the time to ask them. Again, we cover North Mississippi, back into eastern Arkansas and West Tennessee, everything around that area known collectively as the Mid-South. And again, if you have any questions outside of that area, uh, whether for Timbuktu or for Northern Scotland, we'll do our best to answer those questions. But as of right now, we're just going to focus in just mainly on this particular area for the time being. Got any other questions out there? Anything you'd like to see on here? We'd love to know more about uh, things we'd like to be able to update here for you know more satellite, more climate data, stuff like that. Email me here at austin.onic at wreg.com. And if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, it's scrolling by at the bottom of your screen in the blue bar. Seven to ten day forecast here and everything available here at WREG.com slash weather. Good morning to everybody who's checking in. Again, drop your location, city, state, and your weather reports into the comments section. Got a lot of rainfall amounts last night from everybody picking up some rain across the Mid-South, so thank you very much for dropping those in there. Clouds will be around the area today, and that's going to block out a decent amount of the sunshine, but we'll probably see a decent amount of sun off and on, just won't be totally overcast like the gray day that we had for most of the area on Saturday. Most of the day today as well, winds turning out of the west-northwest. They will be kind of breezy for later on today, and so temperatures are not going to be normal for today. Normal is about the lower to mid-70s. Today's temperatures well below that, back in the lower 50s at best. So a jacket, especially with those breezy winds out there, would not be such a bad idea. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors, especially with the kids. Remember that small kids cannot generate the same amount of body heat that adults do, so please make certain that everybody is necessarily bundled up out there. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on our various social media pages. We'll keep you updated on what's going on where weather is concerned. A little bit of sunlight, but a lot more clouds starting to drift through around Heidelberg Elementary in and around Clarksdale for this morning, so we are picking up more clouds than anything else. Rhodes College looking back toward the northwest on the... Uh, weather underground camera from around central Memphis, so we are showing a little bit more cloud cover into and around the area here. A little bit of sunshine getting through earlier, but not by much out there for this morning. Live view of Memphis International Airport terminal and some of the runways and looking at, again, a lot of activity going on for this morning. But fortunately, nothing showing up in the way of delays. Mostly cloudy, no rain to report or anything else. Winds are a little breezy. You can see the camera wobbling by just a little bit. And delays of 15 minutes or less reported here by the FAA. Good news for travelers around the continental United States. We're not seeing much of any delays out here either. Even though we've got some rain and snow showers around O'Hare in Chicago and rain showers around Atlanta, no delays to report. More information on this, you can go, go again to our page here for more weather details here and around the rest of the country, or for weather information regarding the uh, airlines out there and how things are moving. Fly.faa.gov for the Air Traffic Control System Command Center. Transmitter tower camera traffic moving along in all directions in and around I-40 and Witten Road, but there's more of those clouds starting to, to make their way on through the area. John McKinney, cloudy and cool in Tunica this morning. Morning. Thank you very much for checking in from there. Uh, Anita Sanderson Knight, sorry about that. Two point typeface and bifocals, very difficult to read sometimes. Ripley, Mississippi, thanks for joining us there. And sunny and cool in Oxford, Sandra Owens Fry, welcome to the show. And Renee Greenhaw Shires from Covington, cool this morning. And everybody else for checking in. Beautiful day in Friars Point, Lori Todd, thanks a lot. Uh, for the weather report there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, the rain from yesterday 
back over on the right-hand side of the screen. That's, again, some decent amounts of rainfall passing through Nashville, northern Alabama, and back into eastern parts of Tennessee. So we're not seeing, again, anything really huge going on. No severe weather this morning. Some more powerful thunderstorms down to around portions of the Florida Panhandle and off into the Gulf Coast. And farther north of the Mid-South, we've got a lot of winter weather going on into the Great Lakes. Matter of fact, some portions of the Great Lakes from Minnesota all the way over to New York State later on today could pick up 3 to 12 inches extra of snowfall later on. All this moisture is moving up and over very cold air. So if you're planning on traveling anywhere between, say, Toronto, Cleveland, Detroit, back to around Minneapolis and Chicago, you might wind up with some travel problems, especially on the ground. Air travel, again, at this time is not showing any major concerns, but there's a lot of moisture on tap for that area. None of this is heading down our direction, so we're not seeing anything in the way of snowfall out there. Chilly this morning, temperatures on WeatherNet 3, the warmest numbers we could find at just about 9 minutes past 8 o'clock. Lower to mid 40s, westerly winds picking up from time to time. This is live, real time as it happens weather. And once again, you can get this information at wreg.com slash weather. Just click on the weather bug icon and you'll get information about which stations are closest to you in your particular area. And you can check out again, wind speed, wind direction, temperature, rainfall amounts, all that stuff from the weather bug system. Great opportunity to see more there. Now through the rest of the day, running the numbers, cool and cloudy, the gray colors on screen showing the cloud cover out there. And we should be staying dry into the rest of the day. Now, the computers, again, sometimes they get a little bit over-eager where it comes to rainfall potential. This is very dry air that's going to be making its way into the Mid-South. There's going to be enough moisture for clouds several thousand feet up. Down toward the surface, it's going to be relatively dry. The computer is taking all that dry air into account, but it's interpreting some of that cloud cover as higher amounts of moisture enough for what it considers to be rainfall. I don't think we're going to see too much of anything. If we do get anything whatsoever, it's going to be maybe a few speckles of rainfall at anything uh, measurable, doubtful at this point in time. So we're really just not looking at much, but the computer model just getting a little bit too anxious here about the possibility of rain. Very dry air. And by early this afternoon, temperatures only back into the lower 50s. That's about 20 degrees cooler than normal for the rest of the day for today. Cool in South Haven. Mickey Bell, thank Thank you very much for checking in. Sunny from Senatobia, Nancy Barnett, Cleveland. Thank you very much for checking in there. Late tonight, the dry air really starts to take over several thousand feet up, and we will see again any chance of cloud cover move out of the picture. But here's where it gets interesting for tomorrow morning. About the time the kids are heading out to the school bus stop, temperatures will be in the mid-30s across the area, and those winds will be a little breezy out of the west. So we could be seeing wind chills tomorrow again back into the lower 20s. Yes, for those of you who don't like winter weather, we have to talk about this again. But for everybody involved in the Mid-South, remember that summer in this area lasts for about 11 and a half months Yes, I'm kidding about that, but man, it does not feel like I'm kidding into August and September. So enjoy the cooler weather while you can, because I got the feeling the 90s are going to be right around the corner in the next several weeks. So get ready for that summer to return. But for now, not doing too bad. Lower 50s, again, chilly, but not Arctic blast territory. So good news there. And breezy conditions into the rest of the day today. And into tomorrow, we'll bump the numbers up by just a little bit back in the mid to upper 50s into around the area. Uh, John McKinney, can the farmers expect a few dry days? Yes. Uh, we'll take a look at that coming up here in just a second. Tax day, much nicer, very mild, but also very windy. I'm anticipating the possibility of maybe a wind advisory being issued somewhere between Monday and Wednesday by the National Weather Service. And if you're taking your 1040s to the post office box on Tuesday, again, today is the 15th, but because this typically tax day falls on a Sunday, that usually means the tax day gets shunted to the next Monday, but Monday is Emancipation Day in Washington, D.C., making it a holiday, which means that the next available day is tax day, and that's going to be the 17th. So if you haven't done your taxes yet, congratulations. You've got a 48-hour grace period here to help you out, and the weather is not going to be a problem either 
as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So looking good there. Cooling off a little bit toward the end of the week. And that's part of our next storm system coming on through late, late, late next Saturday into very early next Sunday. That's our next best chance of rainfall coming through about a 40% chance for right now. Afterwards, temperatures in the 60s and 70s after that. Now, uh, asking about the weather, John McKinney, can farmers expect a few dry days? The blue bar here, again, the numbers here showing the percentage of precipitation chances. And again, just sort of generalized for the Mid-South area. What we're going to be looking for is, again, a chance of rainfall on Wednesday, minor but still possible, and again for Sunday. We are approximately, give or take, about nine and a half inches above normal for rainfall for this time of the year. So we have got more than enough rain, so we could definitely turn off the spigot for a little bit, and it looks like we're going to do just that. Minor chances of rainfall. No severe weather being detected, no heavy amounts of rainfall coming on through. So outside of a few annoyances of rainfall, shall we call them, there's really not going to be that much going on. So it looks like most of the period here, we are going to dry out by just a little bit. So that's going to help things across much of the Mid-South for right now. And again, hopefully again, get those river levels down by just a little bit into the course of the next couple of days. Didn't have any weather pictures to share for today, so I get to brag a little bit. My son, Tristan Onik, studying at East Tennessee State University around Johnson City. And in the Department of Computing, he just picked up the Outstanding Sophomore Award. So congratulations to him studying computer science and technology at East Tennessee State. Cleans up very nicely. Glad to see that the haircut's working out nicely there as well. Very proud of uh, our son. And again, keeping up to date with what's going on. Thanking our uh, my father-in-law, Tom Alford, for being able to go to Johnson City from Knoxville to get a picture of Tristan. So thank you very much uh, for that one. And congratulations to Tristan on there for that hard work that is definitely paying off. If you've got weather pictures around the Mid-South area, again, got storm pictures from the last couple of days, sunrise, sunset pictures, which we've been furiously posting out there, anything around the backyard area. We'd love to share them, but nobody sent anything in, so we had to kind of replace what we usually see with, again, a picture of my son for there. So if you've got anything you'd like to send in, please send them to me at the various social media networks that I'm on. That's in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, scrolling on by. And of course, you can pick up anything uh, out there as you go to wrhg.com slash weather. I'll be on the radio for the rest of the weekend. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network network stations. And of course, I'll be on back with Bob and Josh, Talk Back Live early Monday morning, starting at 8 a.m. If you can't get their signal because you're outside the Memphis metro area, dial them up online, talkbacklivenetwork.org. Sports chat, tons of stuff going on in and around the Mid-South and beyond. So some great call-ins and some great guests on here to talk about sports in the Mid-South and points beyond. So join them on Twitter at TalkBackLive and you can catch up more there. We'll have weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military and you're back here on the home front, we'll give you a little bit more of a shout out as to what's going on with weather around the world at various locations. We'd love to be able to feature a lot more locations where American troops are stationed, but as of right now, we can only kind of hit the high points basically. So tune in for that coming up in just about 20 minutes or so on my Facebook page, also on Periscope and Twitter if you don't have those services out there. So keep tuned for more on that. We'll have more on the weather situation coming up again tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, and the late edition on News Channel 3 at 10, so stay tuned for more there. Again, questions, comments, complaints, if you absolutely must, uh, again, go to austin.onic at wreg.com, and love to know more about what you would like to see on here. Again, weather, climate, satellite details, weather around the world, whatever it is, we'd love to feature it, but the psychic powers are not working too well, so you have to actually email me and tell me what you think on that, so please send those in to me, and we'll be glad to see what the powers that be say about featuring new stuff on here, so thank you very much on that. Thanks to everybody for joining us uh, for this morning. Thanks for all the weather reports out there out there for today and thanks a lot for everybody for sticking around and keeping an eye on the weather here again more coming up throughout the rest of the weekend at wreg.com slash weather live and direct from memphis tennessee downtown in the wreg news channel 3 severe weather center i'm meteorologist austin onik thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up with news channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend <laughs>